So, Jesse Smollett has spoken out, and as predicted, he has said everything he has said has been absolute factual, and he hasn't changed his story, and uh, all the haters out there just lying, conspiracy theory pushing, basically, he didn't say that exactly, but you get the gist. Okay. What did everybody expect him to say? What do you think he's going to say? You think he's going to say, oh, I made the whole damn thing up. Sorry. He said also he uh, didn't refuse to give information of his phone. He just refused to give his physical phone. Well, if they have, he, if, if, if he gave them permission to track him and get all his stuff and all his information and things like that, then... Why haven't the police released the information saying, yep, yeah, we, uh, we have it. We know where he's at. We know where, he's, where he was doing. He was on the phone with his manager. We have that proof. Here's the audio or here's the time frame. Here's the exact time frame. Here's the digital timestamp of where his phone was. If you give the information to the cops, the cops can find that pretty quickly. The only reason they can't find that quickly is because now they got to go through the channels. they got to get the warrants, the proper channels, and things like that. It just doesn't, no, Jesse, nothing you're saying makes sense, man. It just doesn't, it doesn't ring true. It doesn't ring true. So, uh, a little more on that a sec in a second, but uh, i, I got to go pay the bills. Put yourself in Jesse's shoes. You have said this great big huge lie, and uh, you've nailed yourself to the wall. Are you going to say that it didn't happen, that you made it up? No. So, the two scenarios are this. Something happened, and he's covering his tracks because being a victim is a lot better a point of view than what really happened uh i've heard a bunch of stories but we don't have any definitive proof um but 60 seconds off frame 60 seconds off frame in 60 seconds off frame he was beat up had bleach poured on him and a noose put around his neck i don't know about you but putting someone in a headlock is pretty damn close to putting a noose around someone's neck and you know i, I was a teenage boy we wrestled putting someone in a headlock no no, they're, he's bobbing and weaving, bobbing and weaving. His injuries would have been more extensive. The police said that they have not received a, port, uh, a report from the hospital saying that he had broken ribs. They have said that doesn't mean that it's not out there, but as of yet, they haven't received it. Well, golly, isn't that kind of one of the things the hospital would first off show you, isn't it? I mean, that's like part of the investigation. Maybe it's a publicity stunt. Who knows? Maybe this way, Empire can have a uh, after-school special style racism and homophobia in America public service announcement super special episode starring Jesse Smollett. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know, but let me know what you guys think. But uh, I'm going to expand on this in a minute, but I, I got to continue paying the bills. <sighs> after a long, hard day at work. Where your body's worn, your brain's fried, but you've been productive. It gives the brain a little bit of clarity. And being just the average Joe Schmo, working schmuck, struggling to survive every day, putting life and limb and blood and sweat and tears into every day to try to make things better and trying to struggle and trying to move up in the world. Just like everyone else, every one of you, I see the same evidence, yet how can we have so many different points of view? I understand giving the benefit of a doubt, but there comes a point when you must say, benefit of the doubt no longer applies. There comes a point when you gotta say, of course, he's gonna stick by his guns. What did you expect? This was a story that he came up with, he concocted, to cover something, and it blew way out of proportion. It got bigger than he thought. It, it got huge. And now he's trying to contain it. But you can't put the genie back in the bottle. It's done. So of course he's going to say, 
that he was telling the truth. He said that he didn't refuse to give the police information on his phone. He just refused to give his physical phone. But if you'd have given permission for the police to get the information off your phone, they would have already disseminated it and we would have already known the information and the police wouldn't have released a report saying that you didn't cooperate as far as giving the phone. And then news outlets are saying, but the police are saying he's cooperating in every way. No, he's not. No, he's not. The evidence speaks for itself. What did you, anybody out there expect Jesse to say? All those news outlets that are saying things like, wow, Jesse clears things up. Jesse cleared things up? Did he? Did Jesse really clear things up? I don't know. It doesn't look like he cleared things up to me, but... I'm just a... I'm just, like I said, I'm just a poor schmuck, and I don't know shit from Shinola. So maybe somebody better edu educate me and... and Feel me in and let me know what I'm missing. Does anybody out there, anybody listening to this, do you do you believe Jesse? And honestly, honestly, just let me know. If you believe Jesse, tell me why. Why do you believe Jesse? I want to understand that mindset. Why do you believe Jesse? Somebody tell me. Anyways, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Tomorrow's Saturday. I still got work to do on Saturday. It never ends. I love you guys, man. You know what? My 22 subscriber strong army is the best subscribers in the world. All right. I love doing this. I hope to do more. And uh, I hope to be able to quit my job and do this full time because I really, really enjoy talking to you guys. All right. Have a good one. I'm going to bed.